Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode on the amazing Cobra Park farm. So as I mentioned in the previous episode, we're going to be doing a bit of fruit tree work today. And I found a mod where you can actually plant apple and pear trees. And as I showed you before, Bullet Bill 83 has actually put a special area in the map for planting trees. So I think it'd be good to put this to use. I'm not sure if I'm going to put loads of trees in or just a few. We'll probably see how it goes. but. The thing is with this mod, the one I've chosen, is you don't actually put it in with the, the planter, you actually just use a placeable mod. So it's not quite as realistic, but it's still pretty good because you can still harvest them and you, you can go and sell them at the stall. So let's have a look here. It's in the placeables. You can see there's three here by More2000. There are apple trees, pear trees, and the kiosk for the apples. This is where you sell them. So when you do come to selling your fruit, what you do is you go up to the tree with a trailer, traction trailer, and it will then fill the trailer with the fruit which is ready to be harvested. You'll then drive to the kiosk and unload them. At that stage, the kiosk will then sell them over time. I believe that's how it works. Yeah, bit by bit at the kiosk. Okay, so let's put the apple trees in first. I think we'll probably do half and half. So this side of the field can be apple trees, and this side can be pear trees. Now I need to be able to see where the actual trunk of the tree is going. That should be okay. They don't want to be too close. Uh, probably do four of each. Quite hard to get it to actually appear. There it is. Right, so next row, we'll do the same again. And then we'll do the pairs. Right, so that's three rows of apple trees put in. I'm finding it quite difficult to actually get this bottom row in, so we might just put some normal trees in there, just some saplings. Um, and the other half here, these three rows, we'll do some pear trees. So we'll now go to the pear tree. And we'll start to put these in. Now these are much smaller than the apple trees which actually makes it a lot easier. Now I don't think we'll be able to squeeze another one in there. The reason why it's flickering is because they're quite close together and you can't actually place them inside each other. Probably can't get one in there. Right, okay, so we've got our pear trees, we've got our apple trees. Pear trees don't look quite as neat, uh, but they're okay. And we'll definitely be able to get some crops from it. Now it's probably better that they're further apart because we've got to be able to get in there with the tractor and trailer. And they actually look okay. I'm quite happy with that. They're not quite in line, but it's because of the canopy of the trees, you can't quite fit it in. But it's fine. So what I'm going to do now is put the kiosk in somewhere and also buy a tree planter. We're going to put trees in this row, just some normal trees. Because it's been a long time since I did the tree planting, so I'm looking forward to doing that again. Okay, so let's go into the forestry equipment, get the tree planter, and we'll then drive to get that. I'm not quite sure where to put the kiosk yet. Doesn't really want to be right at this field. Right, so let's go and get a sapling on here. A crate of saplings. Definitely enough for that row. So 
So once we're done with this, we'll have to go and turn those two fields which we mowed the other day. Let's get these in the ground. I've also got the Deutzfar cultivating at the moment. Once it's cultivated the field it's in, uh, I want to get a manure spreader, quite a big one, and then we'll be able to totally fertilise that field using our animal's produce, and then obviously that'll be free. We can then put some potatoes or something in the field. I'm not quite sure what yet, but some kind of root crop probably. And then we'll be able to harvest that and uh, I want to do this to a number of fields because it is a good way of doing it but you can't really spread manure onto a field which you've just drilled because it's just too strong for it so I can't really do it when I'm direct drilling it has to be cultivated and then drilled or then planted so I've got to get the order right right so that is done we'll take this back to the yard I don't really need this too often, but when I do need it, it's quite handy, so I'll put it somewhere out of the way for next time. I would like to do some more tree planting at some point, though. Okay, that would be okay there. We'll go and get the tether, turn those two fields over, and then in the next episode we'll be able to row it up and bale it. For the rest of today, we'll go back into the cultivator. Now it wasn't a worker, I haven't actually checked up on it. I'm assuming it's still going okay, but this map is actually set up for FS11 workers. So I guess you could say it's not quite as intelligent as the FS15 workers. So. It just keeps going in a straight line for wherever you set it off, so it could have gone anywhere. Um, in theory, it is good, providing it's quite a square field. If it's not, it can uh, get a bit confused. So, we'll definitely have to go and check up on that. But the tether is very handily <laughs> stuck right at the back there. Have to shift everything out of the way. This tractor also really needs a wash, so we'll do that in a minute. Ah, oh, the gate's still open. Better get that shut. Don't want the cows escaping. Okay, let's give this a well deserved wash. That's better. So, we'll get the tether on. Oh, actually, first. Now, I've actually just noticed that the wool is almost full. I believe you can get six bags on there. Um, so, we'll leave it for a bit longer. But it will have to be done. 
I can then join that one on the trailer. Okay, so we'll just get this done quickly. It's not a massive job. And believe it or not, the grass is already growing back that amount. That seems a bit too quick. I'm going to have to slow the time down, I think, to real time. Growth speed is on normal. But that looks ridiculous. So, yeah, can't, do, <laughs> can't really be having that. Just makes it harder, really when trying to do this because you can't really see where you've been I'm amazed actually that it has grown that quick on normal It's only a small field, it doesn't take too long to do. And once we've got it all rolled up and baled, we'll then have some hay bales to take to the two livestock yards. We'll probably take half to Chantry Farm and half to Yatton Ridge Farm, because they do both need it. Be able to leave this in the sun, dry out a bit more until it's ready to be baled. But that's this field done. Moving on. This field here is a bit easier actually because it's more square. notice we're using the JCB again. There are, for some reason, a large debate about what the actual use of a JCB fast track is and some people argue that it should only be used for road work such as corn carting or bale leading. Um, other people say that it's a multi-purpose tractor and I would actually agree with those people because despite it sort of, you, whenever you think of a fast track you do think road work it is still very good at field work. I just saw a tractor, a fast track the other day, doing this exact job. It was tethering, and it was doing it fine. So, to be honest, I think they are good for sort of light work, but then also road work as well. I'm not sure how good it would be at ploughing, although I know someone will comment and say we have a fast track, and it's it's fine at ploughing. So yeah. Um, I'm surprised that there is such a debate about what a fast track should be used for, uh, but I think at the end of the day it is a multi-purpose tractor. It can do nearly any job that another tractor the same horsepower could do. But 
course it is quicker so um, I suppose at some stage the power to uh, speed ratio would be different to another tractor so yeah I think they are multi-purpose tractors but of course um, this is FS I'm not quite sure exactly what they're like in real life they certainly do seem to do a good job at road work though Last row, and then we're done. So we can leave these two fields, or three fields now. Those two can be left to dry out. This one, the apples can grow. I'm not sure how long they actually take. Um, they're on 8%. So not too long. We're playing in 5 times speed. And so we're doing 8%. So it won't, it won't be that long at all. As for the tree saplings, they will take a long time. But I'm not too bothered about them anyway. So yeah, we'll just wait for them to grow. And then we'll be able to go and sell them at the kiosk. Which we're now going to go and buy. I think a good place for the kiosk is actually at the farmhouse, because that is where they're going to be sold. Here we are. Now, I think in there is probably a good place for it. However, this is a placeable mod, so again, there are going to be restrictions on where you can put it. It can't be anywhere near another object, so that's going to make it a bit more difficult. Um, but let's just go to mods, placeables, and the kiosk. Well, we can. We can get it in there. I'll just turn it around a bit. Hopefully that's okay there. Yeah, it's fine. So when we actually have the fruit, what we'll do is we'll put it into a trailer, we'll bring it here and unload it into the kiosk. Then I think the way it works is, I think the idea is people would come and buy the fruit and obviously that would be your, your gradual sale of the fruit uh, over time as people come and buy it not just one you don't sell it once and then you get all the money in one lump sum you get it in sort of small amounts over time so that's that sorted as we're up here I think we'll just check on the the worker which I'm sure will be doing very badly oh it's got further than I thought it would have done don't think it's working anymore though yeah, when I left it, it was at the top here, so it has actually managed to do all of this. But I don't think it's working. We'll just jump to it. No, it's finished. So the issue there was the headland. We needed to go around once more to be able to get it to work. But that'll be in the next episode. We'll get it lined up ready. Okay, right, so we're heading back in the JCB.
going to go and drop the tether off and put the windrower on, ready for the next episode, where we will be rowing it up and bailing. After that, I think the main objective is going to be to do some cultivating and also some drilling and possibly planting as well of some root crops. But that will all depend on uh, what everyone else's opinion is on this. Um, but yeah, I, there is a lot of cultivating which has to be done. Just trying to decide what to put in each field. Now for the windrower, or the rake as a lot of people do call it, it is easier. Easier to call it a rake than a windrower. And that can stay there until next time. So thanks for watching everyone, hope you enjoyed the video, We're a bit different today really doing the fruit, not done that before. So yep, yeah, thanks for watching and you can join me again next time for more farming on Cobb Park Farm. Bye for now.